Stepper Motors. Like you see here, are different from servo motors. Servo motors can jump into a specific position. Um, stepper motors, you can control them fine-grained. You can move them step by step. They can rotate 360 degree while the servo only is able of 180 degree or maybe kind of 270 degree but let's say 180 degree the stepper motor can do one uh, 360 degree and is very precise um, the stepper motor needs a motor controller and I'm controlling the motor driver using Raspberry Pi and how am I doing this? Um, I wrote a small script that kind of does something with the motor controller and then the motor spins. It can spin forward but it can also spin backward Um, like you see now and to understand how this motor driver and in general um, stepper motors work then I will slow it down a bit so I will make it a hundred times slower. And you won't see any movement there because it's so slow. But did you see the it's very small movement? Yeah. And what the driver does it runs a so-called motor stepper pattern and this pattern just rotates two lights around so how does the stepper motor work you have um, two brushes um, uh, you have two coils and one is uh, and and yeah, you uh, um, one pulls it to this direction, then you have to pull it to this direction, then you have to pull it to this direction, and then to this. When you want to go backwards, you have to pull it to this direction, to this direction, to this direction. So you have these four um, coils that you have to activate. In a certain direction so these four LEDs are also uh, represented in these four GPIO pins that I had to use maybe it's more clear when we look at the source code um, at first I um, have my sleep function that I also explained in the servo motors. This time um, the timing is not critical because stepper motors do not rely on timing, they rather rely on the correct signals. I declared all my four pins in their order and I'm writing a one to the first pin I want to use. Now I have this function move and it takes a boolean forward that is either true or not. And yeah, with forward I'm increasing position and with backward I'm decreasing the position. And when I'm at the end I start again and I write a 1, sleep some time uh, and write a 0 to the old position. 
So with every move cycle I turn an LED on wait a bit turn the last LED off so I have so when you so you have in total f um, eight make, let's make a bit slower you have eight parts of the cycle one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight one two and so on if you want to move the motor backwards then just do it in the opposite direction now let's make it faster again So, um, how can you use stepper motors? Uh, stepper motors are used in printers, for instance, uh, in 2D printers, but also in 3D printers. You can, for instance, build tanks with it. You can, yeah, control everything that has to be uh, positioned correctly like a turret or something else yeah I hope it helped you a bit thanks and bye bye